Hello and welcome back once again to Rob's Homemade Food and Recipe and today we are going to be doing hot sauce reviews, we're going to do three in one, we're going to do more in one go, get them out of the way, is the Chili Saloon, so we're off to the Wild West, nice box, nice bottles, they mean three different kinds, we've got the jalapeno hot sauce, the habanero fruity hot sauce, and the hot pepper sauce, which is also habanero. We've got two chili rating, four chili rating for the fruity one, and a six chili rating for the habanero. We shall see. I picked this up as a bargain, to be perfectly honest. I was walking around the home bargains, which a friend of mine, Dave Price, also knows very well, and I picked these up. I also picked up a chili roulette, which I'm going to save for a later date. You'll see why I'm saving it when the video goes up. But we're going to review these one after another. We're going to start. Get this open. Don't want to wreck the box because I like quite like the box. We're going to start. We'll just move that to the side with the dead or alive jalapeno hot sauce. It says mild, which for me a jalapeno is mild. For some people, jalapeno can be quite spicy, quite hot. So we'll have a look at the ingredients. Water, diced jalapeno, 12%, which I a lot. Onion, spirit vinegar, modified maize, sugar, salt, garlic powder, dried coriander. Mmm, coriander, I do like the taste of coriander. So this should, it looks quite tasty looks quite nice produced in the UK for TJ Morris Limited Liverpool which has got the home bargains website on so if you want to pick this up pop to your local home bargains and you should be able to pick this one up this hot sauce up so we're going to have a crack at this one first because it's the mild one and then we'll go to the fruity one and we'll work our way up to what according to that is a six chili pepper rating for the habanero. But we'll see about that. Everyone who watches my channel knows I'm a spice freak. This is quite thin, it's quite watery, to be perfectly honest. But I've been told these are quite nice. So we're going to do the jalapeno hot sauce first. So we'll crack this open. Definitely smell the jalapenos. Quite fruity, maybe. It is the mild version, so we'll go for the mild first. We'll always have a decent spoonful, you know what I'm like. So, you can see the bits of diced jalapeno, so. Yeah, jalapeno taste. Bit of spice on the back, which is what I was expecting, to be fair to the bottom, it does say mild, and it is quite mild. For some people, jalapenos are hot, depends on how your taste buds work, but it's quite, it's got the lovely jalapeno taste in it, and for, a, like I said, a bargain price of 2 49 three hot sauces, that's good, that's very good, I'm quite impressed with home bargains for this one. Um, <clears throat> Best before dates on the top, the usual stuff. I'm doing food. But yeah, that's quite nice. Not so much heat, just a little tingle at the back. So we'll drop. There's a picture on the back of here. I'm going to show. I'm going to leave the bottles out of the box for the mini. So I didn't realise that what was in the back of here, which I quite like. I quite like the way they've uh, set this box up. I'll show you now because what I'll do is I'll drag the next two out. The fruity one. And the Harbano hot pepper one. This would be a good gift set for somebody who you know does like chilies. There's the inside, it's a bar, a picture of a bar with three stools, obviously representing the three bottles of hot sauce. And today's menu Harbano hot pepper sauce, Harbano fruity, and jalapeno hot sauce. I'm quite impressed, I love the way it's laid out in the boxes. It's it looks appealing, it looks, oh that's nice, I'd, I'd, I'd buy one of them, like I said, the price of what I paid for it, your core argue. 
So we're going to jump straight on to the Dead or Alive Habanero Fruity Hot Sauce. So let's see what's in this to make it fruity. We've got concentrated pineapple juice, all oh, nice. Apple, citric acid, carrot, red chili, sugar, modified lime, concentrated lime juice. It doesn't say on this one how much habanero is in this. On the last one it was, on the jalapeno, it was 12%. This one hasn't got any indication of how much habanero is in this. So I'm not quite sure, but with it being a fruity one, I can't see it being a lot. But once again, nice bottle. We'll get this one cracked open. I've got a feeling they're all gonna be the same consistency. They're gonna be quite thin. But I'm looking forward to this one with the pineapple concentrate and the apples and the carrots, red chilies and lime juice, it should be quite citric and quite fruity. So I'm hoping the pineapple juice taste is there because that would be lovely. Like I say, once again, you can see the red chilies in this one with it being the lighter, with the carrots and the pineapple being lighter fruits. And it looks like it's got actual pineapple in there. I'm hoping so, I'm hoping this is gonna be nice and fruity. You can't smell the habanero, it's just the carrot really you can smell. So we're gonna go for a big spoon once again of this one and see what the taste is like. Taste the pineapple straight away. <clears throat> That's got even less spice than the jalapeno, but that for a fruit, I wouldn't call it a hot sauce. I wouldn't call it a hot sauce, I'd call it a fruity sauce. But it, this one, I love the taste of it. Oh, we're going for another big spoon of this one. Taste the pineapple straight away and the carrot. That's a, somebody who isn't a hot sauce lover, that'd be a good one. That would be very nice you could have use that as a dipping sauce instead of a plain sweet chili or something you could change it up and use that instead i quite like that one i am uh, very impressed with that one no heat at all but it does say fruity which is what it is it says medium but i think the jalapeno is actually hotter than the fruity one even though that one it's supposed to be a four chili rating, which it isn't. That's never a four chili rating. So if that's not four chilies, this is supposed to be six. And our core see this being a six chili rating. So we're gonna crack this one and see what happens. Because our core see this being the jalapeno was two chili rating. That one was supposed to be four. I'm struggling with this one to get it open. We will get there. Of course, see, of course, see this being a six. I really caught. This one doesn't seem to want to open for me. Here we go. Got it. <clears throat> so we've had the two, which I'm quite impressed with. Jalapeno, lovely taste. The fruity one, a lovely pineapple taste. This one, obviously a lot darker because of the habanero. If they've used a red habanero, you see it. And once again, the chili flakes are in there. Whether it's the seeds of the habanero or not, I'm not sure. I'm sure we'll find out. So, ingredients in this one. We've got habanero, habanero chili puree at 15%. That was 12% of the jalapeno. That's not much of a jump. To be perfectly honest, we've got dried, a dried oregano in this one, which will give it a nice taste. Paprika, paprika extract, also some spring onion. Interesting, but 
Yeah, definitely. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's giving itself a six chili rating. Maybe. We'll see. I'm going to crack it open. It does smell spicy, to be fair. That's the spicy hot sauce you normally smell. So we're going to go for a decent glug of the Dead or Alive Habanero Hot Pepper Sauce. Let's see if it's a six chili. The kick on the tongue is there straight away. You can feel your tongue burning. <clears throat> but I don't know about six. I'd probably give it a three, maybe a four. It is getting hotter. It is the heat is there, it's coming. But it's definitely not six chilies. I've done stuff before, the stink to shrink out, which is extract which don't count really. But then the fear the reaper. That was hot. That was boom hot. That is got some spice to it, don't get me wrong. It's got a nice taste, but it's definitely not a six chili rating. But to be fair, them three sauces have been extremely tasty. Green chili habanero, uh, jalapeno, sorry, very nice. Definite jalapeno taste. The fruity one, beautiful flavour, absolutely fantastic, but definitely not four chilies. There is no spice to that at all. But a lovely, fruity, tasty sauce. And that one, the habanero hot pepper sauce, hot six chili rating, definitely no six, maybe a three stroke four. <clears throat> but I'm quite happy with my purchase to be fair though, for the price I paid, you, you can't go wrong, that for a bargain price of 2 49 for any chilli sauce lover, liker or wants to get into them for the first time, this would be a perfect purchase for you, pop to your home bargains, go and pick a box up, you've got nothing to lose, nothing to lose at all. And the am good sauces, especially that fruity one, I'm very impressed with that fruity one. Lovely taste. Anyway, that was my Dead or Alive Chili Saloon 3-in-1 hot sauce review. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please smash that like button. If you're watching me for the first time, check out my other videos. Hit that subscribe button. And I will see you all again very soon for another food recipe, food review. Maybe I've got a couple of challenges in the pipeline, one I want to do when I finish tasting all the psycho juices, because they're next on the list. And then I've got another challenge that I want to do using the Fear the Reaper Extreme, which is going to be a killer, I know it is, but I'm going to do it anyway. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Peace and goodbye.